everybody, I'm Jo Paul and I'm the author and today I thought we'd do a fun video about five things a writer does and five things a writer doesn't do. Number one, a writer writes. This may seem obvious but it's also true. A writer is by definition someone who writes. They may not do it every day but they will mostly write. They'll also have a sign on their door about not being disturbed or during those times otherwise they'll put you in the book and kill you. Or is that just me? Number two, a writer drinks caffeine. Now usually people will say coffee, but I'm actually allergic to coffee, so I'm gonna stick with caffeine itself. Because I also know a lot of writers who do energy drinks, or like me, prefer tea. But if you want to disturb a writer, go for making them a beverage and proceed with caution. Number three, a writer has questionable search history. This one is true, especially during the writing phase and the editing phase. I have Googled things that I am pretty sure have put me on a list somewhere. Things like how to dispose of a body, how, about how much acid it takes to solve one, and other such things. This is an important part of the writing life, whether like me you write crime or whether you just write full stop. And I think it applies to all writers not just those who write fiction. We're a curious breed and we have a lot of questions. Number four, a writer reads. I know that I'm not the only one who reads like it's going out of style. I also know of authors who just don't have time to read because they're so busy writing. I'm lucky that I have a lot of downtime because of my health and it gives me a chance to read some really good books. Most writers will have come to the whole process with a love of books and reading, and whether they're reading fiction or just research books, a writer will read. Number five, a writer plans. This isn't just their books, because a lot of writers are either hybrids like me or plain old panthers, but a writer will plan and plot, whether that's while writing or before it happens. They get hit with ideas from the middle of nowhere and take it and make it into a book. So that goes on the other side of it, what does a writer not do? So number one, a writer doesn't stop. By this I mean they don't stop having ideas just because they're already working on something. The ideas come in so many different ways and sometimes it's right at damn awkward moments. A writer will get hit by a plot bunny and then they'll have to write it down before it escapes into nothing. Sometimes this leads to frustration and shiny new plot idea syndrome, but it happens without fail. Number two, a writer doesn't always have a normal schedule. Some writers do, but if they're like me, then inspiration hits them at 3am and they're awake and typing into the night. Some writers find they work better in the wee hours and will willingly get up early to work before work and props to them because I am not a morning person. Others don't get up until midday because they do better writing late at night. So our schedules aren't always that regular and it's better to just go along with it. Number three, a writer doesn't always write. One of the big misconceptions and pieces of advice you hear is write every day. And while that is a good idea to build a, a routine and a habit, it's not always that practical on many different levels. And so it's important to note that a writer is not always writing. They're human too and still need days off. That's just good mental health. Number four, a writer doesn't have much free time. When you think about it, the majority of writers will hold down a job outside of their writing life. This leads to a delicate balancing act between getting everything they need done and still having time to write. It's a juggling act and sometimes it means less time to hang out and do stuff. It all works to your pace. And number five, a writer doesn't work at the same speed. By this I mean not all writers write at the same pace. Some writers take years, others take months. It's something I've talked about in a Real Talk video, which I'll link up in the cards. But it bears repeating. My motto with writing is basically, it takes as long as it takes, and that's okay. So this was just a fun video, five facts of what a writer does and what a writer doesn't do. And I really enjoyed thinking them up and making the video and all of that fun stuff. So that's I've got time for today. If you want to get in touch with me, you can comment or subscribe. I post new videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and don't forget to check out Dark 2018 where I'll be signing books this October. All the links to which are listed below. Thanks for watching and remember to keep writing. Bye!